Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Cheatball Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focused on hitting 100 home runs in MLB The Show 21. To accomplish this, first, I want to show you how to hit a really easy home run. To do this, we're going to be changing the batting interface. I'll be showing you that in just a moment. But for now, we're going to start up a home run derby, and we're going to choose eight players. This is basically just going to be a home run derby tournament amongst eight different players, and we can actually take control of all of the players. So every time one of these players is up to bat and we hit a home run with them, they all count towards the 100 home run achievement. So it makes it really easy to rack up the 100 home runs. On top of that, on top of that, I'm going to show you guys how to change the hitting interface to make it so that you guys can hit a really easy home run. In terms of player selection, they have a couple teams that contain Hall of Fame players like the Boomers and the Beasts and just pick a bunch of players that have a high power rating. In terms of the stadium, you want to select the Spring Training Stadium. It's called Baseball City. This is by far the easiest uh, field to score a home run in. After that, we're going to change it to Arcade and we can keep it at 4 minutes. You're going to find that we're going to be able to get 100 home runs early in the first round. We won't need to take this to the semifinals or the finals or anything like that. That is unless you're having trouble hitting the home runs. But once I help you guys change the batting interface, believe me, it's going to make it way easier to hit a home run. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this up. Now, if you were to leave the batting interface at default, it has this directional interface where you basically point in the direction that you want to hit. Now, believe me, I've played MLB The Show 21 the past few years even when it was on the PlayStation platform. And the first thing I always did was I went into the settings and changed the batting interface to zone. It's the biggest favor you can do for yourself. So if you're playing home run derby and you're having trouble hitting a home run, this tip is for you. I found I was hitting a home run pretty much every other hit, if not back to back. I think at one point in time, I had like six home runs in a row. So what you wanna do is press start, you wanna go to options, and then you wanna go to gameplay. After that, you're going to go to Hitting Interface and you want to switch it to Zone. This is going to enable us to control where we're targeting with our bat. You can control this quote unquote zone with your left thumbstick. So basically, you're targeting where the ball is going. This mechanic gives you way more control and it makes it way easier to hit home runs. In Home Run Derby, most of the pitches are going right down the middle. None of them really go out of the strike zone. So all you have to do is really just keep that zone in the middle. You can tilt it a little bit up, a little bit down, or a little bit to the left, or a little bit to the right, but you really don't need to move it that much off center. Aside from that, I recommend swinging with the X button, or if you're playing on PlayStation, that would be the square button. That is your power swing. So as long as you're using your power swing and you switched your hitting interface to zone, you're going to find that you're going to start hitting way more home runs. It's going to make this way easier. Keep in mind, each batter has four minutes to hit as many home runs as he can. I found that with each batter, I was able to hit about 15 to 23 home runs per player. If you can average 20 home runs in the first round with each player, you're going to find that you're going to be able to complete this in the first round of the tournament because, you know, five players, 20 home runs, that's 100 home runs. Even if it takes you batting with eight players at a four minute round, you're still going to get this done in the first round of this tournament. So there's no need to actually complete the home run derby, being that it would take a lot of time because we set it up with eight players. We just set it up this way as kind of like a worst case scenario safety blanket just in case maybe you're not hitting as many home runs as we planned for you. Other than that, we do have an achievement or trophy as I mentioned for winning a home run derby, but you don't need to complete a 8 person home run derby to do that. You can just go ahead and quit out once you get your 100 home runs, start up another home run derby. This time though, select 1 minute rounds and only select 2 players. This will make for a really fast home run derby. All we need to do is hit a home run with one player and don't hit a home run with the other player. That will make for a score of like 1-0, to zero, making for a really easy home run derby win. I actually just posted a quick video guide on that one before this video, so if you're interested in that, I do have a video guide for it, but it's fairly simple. Um, just start up you know, the easiest home run derby that you can. Aside from that, this video is more focused on teaching you guys how to hit an easy home run. On top of that, showing you guys how to rack up the 100 home runs. As you can see, I just checked out the achievements and the achievement trackers actually work. So you can go ahead and look at the percentage and being that we need 100 home runs, 
each percentage represents a home run. So I was at 90%, meaning I had 90 home runs. I only need to hit 10 more home runs to get my achievement. Also, you're gonna find that some of these players have a really lengthy animation after they hit the ball. In the lower right hand corner of the screen, it shows that you can fast forward the animation by holding Y. So as soon as you hit the ball, you can start fast forwarding through this animation, showing you where the home run went using Y. This is cool because those animations do take up some time and you know you can pull off more home runs if you do that fast forward feature. Because to my knowledge it fast forwards the animation but it doesn't fast forward the time clock so it enables you to get some more swings off. But yeah that pretty much covers everything that you guys need to know. Eventually you're going to hit that 100th home run and you're going to end up unlocking your last achievement related to home runs in the game. Overall, I think there's five achievements related to home runs. We have one for hitting a home run further than 425 feet. We have one for winning a home run derby, one for hitting 25 home runs, 50 home runs, and then finally, 100 home runs. Once you hit that 100th home run, you're going to unlock your achievement for doing so, and that one's worth a beefy 70 gamer score. Overall, the five achievements total up for about 190 gamer score. Other than that, keep an eye out for my other video guides related to MLB The Show 21. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 15 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Bengsa, and Purple Rain 6 As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe.